At Dunmilling Primary School we have previously run shared reading projects where the primary seven children are sharing texts with younger pupils. However, when we attended the training from the Scottish Book Trust this year, we reflected on our processes that we were using within school and we used the training to enhance our current programme. So we put in additional sessions with the primary seven children focused on the three texts so that when the primary seven children were delivering their sessions they had a higher level of skills when sharing the books with the younger children. To prepare our pupils for shared reading before they even went to primary ones they all had to read to each other um, and be critical friends, they had to give each other feedback on what would make it better, what they could improve on um, and get them really to enjoy it because we were saying if you enjoy it the primary ones are going to enjoy it. I like to think that the drama workshops are there to inject as much of the pupils creativity and imagination into the picture books as possible so within the drama workshop we look at things like the voice, we look at movement, expression and we also really celebrate the imagination and opening up the pupils imagination. Now that I've gone there I've really understood like voices help a lot a voice or a certain pitch tone volume can help a moment in a story sound more dramatic or sad or happy there's someone in the kitchen ready three two one for our younger pupils they are developing story language they are developing a love of reading it increases their vocabulary but it also allows them to see that books are a good thing they're a fun thing and it's something that they look forward to so they may go back to the classroom or go home that night and choose to pick up and book a read because we're increasing their enjoyment of texts the children really enjoy these sessions they get quite excited every week when they realize it's their shared reading sessions with their buddies we have some children who are quite shy this has brought them out of their shell. Their talking and listening in the class as well has improved, so it's been good all round. For our primary seven pupils, the impact of the shared reading programme is to develop their skills within reading in terms of their expression, their fluency. But primary seven pupils have to be able to articulate what those skills are in order to teach them to younger children. Um, but it also develops their confidence, it develops their responsibility and it develops nurturing approaches with younger children. With Michael's dyslexia, I really found it hard with reading. A book was quite a scary thing for him. With the shared reading programme, I find that my son has grown in confidence through helping the primary ones. He thrives on having that wee bit more responsibility and helping others because they're looking up to Michael, so he feels a lot better about himself, making the younger kids feel better. It's actually made my primary sevens want to read. I have loads of children who love reading anyway, but obviously, especially in some boys, some of them can be a bit reluctant, and this is a way where they all want to do it. There's nobody here that doesn't want to go and read to the primary one buddy, and we're hoping to maybe share it throughout the school as well, so it's not just primary seven reading to primary one. I know that primary sixes and primary twos are hoping to start and do something similar. So yes, we'll definitely continue. I think it's far too good not to continue doing it.